Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Missouri Homesteading Transitions. Okay, you guys. I hope you can see me well in here and stuff. Uh, I don't have the best lighting yet. But anyways, what I want to do is coat the inside of this wood with water sealer before I put up my uh, insulation in that, just in case the bottom ever starts to seeping or they get seeping anywhere, it'll, it'll keep from getting wet and rotten from the inside out. So let me go ahead and get this and I'll let you guys watch me in high speed rate. I actually see something besides a pad. All right, let me go start spraying. I'm so excited. All right, you guys. I'm starting to feel it. I got my 15 rolls of insulation for the walls here. It'll cover all these walls and that. Go get another 15 rolls that I have already paid for, and that'll be for the, the roof area. I'm still deciding on whether I want to sheetrock this or put paneling up there. I do have, let me show you, up here, it goes probably about six, seven feet up there and stuff, so that'd be a nice storage space. But anyways, I'm getting ready to head back to Mountain Home, go get the other 15 insulation, go order my rug, 14 feet, eight and a half inches in one direction and 12, uh, 12 inches the other, because that's the length of the row, the roll. It's 12 inches, 12 inches, it's 12 feet wide. And that'll cover up to about right here. That'll give me all this area right here. And that for, I'm thinking for the kitchen area and maybe the bathroom area. I don't know if I want to put the bathroom area there or on this side since I got the wood stove, since I'm going to have that wood stove there. And that is still a uh, work in progress. We know the front window area, it's going to be the kitchen area and stuff like that. So we're still figuring that out. And we got, yesterday we stopped off at this furniture store and that we found the perfect, I mean the perfect kitchen table. And it'll be in the pictures right here. And once that's, in, that, that's going to take up a little space, that might go on the side by the wood stove and that. But we also are going to make room for our beds. Yes, I said beds and stuff. After 15 years, we've come to realize that we're more comfortable in our own beds and stuff. My wife, she's going to be happy with the twin. I've already ordered the pedestal bottom for it and um, for me I'm getting a full-size bed with the drawer pedestals underneath for us for me also but anyways let me get on the road and I'll give you more updates here in a bit all right you guys it's probably about eight o'clock at night and I just got done unloading the next 15 rolls of insulation Emptied out my truck 
And that was in the back. Yeah. Oh, wife well, says it's almost nine. Now I'm just gonna park the trailer. I think I'm gonna park the truck here and head on back to town. So let's see how I do parking in the dark. I did this in one shot, you guys. And I got it right where I wanted to. In the dark. My wife stood there right at that marker pole with the light on it, and I did it. Woohoo! I'm the man. Gotta get this thing unhooked, everything locked up, and head on into town. It's 11 in the afternoon, and it's taken me a few hours and stuff to get organized and that. I had to stop off at storage and grab my ladders and tools and just seek and find. That took several hours. But I'm out here, and today I'm going to work on getting that insulation in it set up. Hopefully, I'll have it all done for the inside before it gets dark. And we'll see how that comes along. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, you guys, I'm all suited up and ready to get this going. So let's see how long this takes me. All right, it's a quarter to two, you guys. It's coming along. I've used just a little under half the insulation for the walls and that. And for the tops, I got to cut them down to size and that. And I've been using a serrated knife. That's the best thing and stuff. And taking my pieces and putting them in between the cracks and the walls over there and that to uh, fill the voids. That's still a shuffling process and stuff, but it's coming along, as you can see. So, chip, chip away, I go. All right, you guys, I'm done taking a break. I'm getting ready to move into my next phase here. Okay, now I'm cutting the, I'm cutting the fit now, so let me show you how I'm doing that. I'll take my insulation piece here, come over here, get a quick measurement to the top right here with my finger, make a mark, come over to my cutting table, use Daryl's T level T thing. Line this up here so it's straight. Get it like so, right there. And then I just use a serrated knife, like I said. Do partial cut right there too. Move the T. And then just saw the rest of this off. And then I use the rest for, I'll use that for filling pieces. Take this here. Come up here. Line it in. On one side. And I'll take and just tuck it. Fold it in. I don't know if you can see that folding in. Fold it in. Like so. And that's basically it. Now I got to do that this many more times and stuff and that, and we'll be, we'll, I'll show you the results as I come along. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I even have my wife going to work and helping out to fix up the homestead. What I got her doing is using the pieces I cut off and plugging up these little holes, these smaller areas and stuff with our excess pieces. So she's been a busy bee helping. And that, let me show you some of the things she's done already. We got that pieced. We got that pieced right there. She got 
That little bit piece right there. She's pieced this together with all the pieces I have. So she's coming along and saving our saving our insulation and stuff. So we might have some leftover. Anyways, let me show you where I'm at. As you can see, I'm just moving along here. This wall's just about done. This wall is just about done. Just a few pieces. I have over here that still needs to be done. All this is done. We got a couple small spaces there that need to be filled up. And a couple small spaces here to be filled up. And I just have six more pieces to slide in there and that'll be done. So we're coming along really well. Looks perfect. Good job, baby. Thanks. No, like that's work. That'll be fine. Just like a piece of bread. I'd love a piece of bread right now. I'm so hungry. Oh no. All right, you need me to help you fix that? <laughs> That's easy to fix. All right, you guys, now I'm getting ready to do some precision cutting here and stuff. And my next cut has got to be 10 and 3 quarter inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this, set it up here. Grab Daryl's ruler, bring it to the edge right here. Set it up. Ten and three quarters. Make an incision right here. Flip this over so I can line this up all the way down. Cut the wood. And it should fit perfectly right in this little slot here. Eh? Huh? What do you think? How's that look? That looks pretty perfect to me. Anyways, I got a lot more precision cuts to do, and that probably take me a while and stuff because everything else is precision cut. But I'll show you the finished product when we're done. All right, you guys, it's 5:10, and I finally finished the floor part and the stuff and piecing it together. Almost, except for one spot I see I missed, and that up here in this top corner, and that so. I'll get that little square taken away. 
but as far as everything else here it's pretty much done let me give you an example show you what i'm talking about all right she's go slow so it doesn't get unblurred everything's done all the way around i'm so happy about that All right, you guys, I've been doing some measurements on the inside here real quickly. Every one of these beams between here have different lengths. Every single one is not the same. So I'm going to check that out and do the wall first up there high. And back here and the rafters here and that. That goes about a little more than four feet back, but I think I'll just put a sheet of plywood up there on the bottom so I don't... Uh, here, let me just show you while I'm here. I almost killed myself on this thing earlier. The ladder fell out underneath me and I was hanging from the rafter with my hands on this beam here. But as you can see, that's a little under six feet from there to there. And a little over four feet to the back wall there. Uh, so I'm going to probably have it start right about here. And then the beam and go back four feet. I'll figure it out. So I'll need two sheets of plywood for that because they're six feet long. And we'll make it work. Well, yesterday's ceiling insulation was a bust bomb. It did not work, so... I actually returned it, and I need to figure out another game plan for that. Anybody have any suggestions or ideas, please leave them in the comments below, because it just did not work.